Hi guys, so I wanted to take a kind of a detour from my normal content because I would truly be remiss if I didn't acknowledge a legend, <coughs> excuse me, a legend, a man who was known for his inspiration on and off the court, Kobe Bryant. From ever since I can remember, my brother has been a Kobe Bryant fan. And I always wonder, like, how can you be a fan of someone who doesn't even play in your city? He plays on the opposite side of the country. But my brother has been a diehard Kobe fan since we were young. Growing up, I could, I could remember my brother always choosing Kobe Bryant for, like, his three-month reports and projects. Because that was truly his favorite person. That was his hero. And... Through my brother, Kobe Bryant also became one of my favorites. Yesterday when I heard the news, I was driving and I thought it was fake because I'm like, this is TMC, this has got to be fake news, there's no way this is real. And so I Googled it and of course, Wikipedia already updated the database and showed Kobe Bryant August 23rd, and I know this because he's his birthday is the day after my brother's, August 23rd, 1978 through January 2020 and my world kind of stopped and it's like I, I didn't even know this man but I felt I felt the pain of losing someone like a cousin or my uncle or something like that it, it was just like I, I can't even explain it I bursted into uncontrollable tears and I couldn't even understand why I was crying for someone I did not know but he touched the lives of so many people. He was a father, a husband, a teammate, a friend, a coach, and so much more. Later on, I realized that Kobe's death triggered another grief that was very personal to me, and that was my mom. My mom passed away when I was 11 years old, and my world literally stopped. Like, everything froze, and I just felt like I'm just here, and everything, every, it, like, the room was literally sp it felt like it was spinning to me. And then I began to think of his daughters who are around the age that I was when I lost my parents. And I felt like I could kind of relate. Although I know that nothing can really compare, I could relate on that level of losing a parent at such a young age. And then I began to think about all the other people that were on the helicopter and their families. So I just wanted to take the time to offer my deepest condolences to all of the families that were affected. And even the fans, um, we didn't know him personally, but he has definitely touched so many lives. And it's apparent in all the love that his family is getting on social media. And even like at the Staples Center last night for the Grammys and all over the world. But I wanted to definitely send my prayers up to Vanessa Bryant, who had to go home and tell her daughters that daddy and Gigi aren't coming home tonight. Like, I cannot, I couldn't even imagine. I can't imagine what she's going through right now. With all that being said, I know that I'm not the only one who has lost a parent or a loved one. So I just wanted to share some of the things that I learned when I was going through the grieving process and in hopes that it can help someone else who is currently grieving. Whether it be a loved one or King Kobe, grief is grief. Never allow anyone to tell you how you should respond or how you should grieve. Grief is our own and we don't have to justify or explain to anyone. I saw this post yesterday on social media and it kind of it listed out things that you should do when your heart is heavy and I just wanted to read it to share and encourage someone that you're not alone. Sometimes you may not be able to do it alone. You don't have to go through it alone. You find someone who you can trust, who you can talk to, and just, it's okay to be in your feelings, to express your feelings and acknowledge your feelings of hurt, sometimes anger, um, confusion, it's, it's okay. It's perfectly okay. And if you're on the other end of it, just be a listening ear to that person. Just let them know that you are there and you are willing to listen to what they have to say. People 
They just need someone to be there with them. Sometimes they don't want anyone. They don't want to talk to anyone, but just you being there. So I saw this post yesterday that listed out things that you might need to do when your heart feels heavy, when life feels heavy. So I'm just gonna read them out for you in hopes to just encourage someone. And they are, ground yourself by taking a few deep breaths, pause, cry, be around people, take a few days off work, feel your feelings, turn the TV off, ask people not to speak to you about specific topics, meditate, take a break from social media, vent to a good listener, take some time to think, hug someone, pray, and journal. And personally, personally, from my experience, those those things listed in that post are actually pretty spot on. A lot of those things are things that I did to kind of cope with the situation. There's nothing and no words that anyone can say that will bring that person back. But just knowing that they lived their life and like Kobe Bryant impacted so many people's lives and his legacy will continue on forever. Just knowing that should put you at ease. And also, I know that you may think that this is too much to bear or like you can't, you can't do it, but you can. God makes no mistakes and there's a reason for everything. You might not know it at the moment, but all I can say, like, look at, look at all this positivity that's, that's going on over the last day, like, as a result of Kobe Bryant's death. Like, everyone is coming together and, you know, putting, putting the petty issues and the trivial, trivial issues aside. Like, none of that stuff matters. Cherish your loved ones while they are here. Love on them and show them that you care while they are here, while they, they can uh, reap the benefits of love. Give them their roses while they can smell them, you know? It's simple things like that, like not arguing over something so petty, just moving on. It's not worth, it's not worth it at all. And cher just cherish your loved ones because tomorrow is truly not promised. So I hope that my, I know I didn't share a lot, but I shared a little bit of my experience and I hope that this can encourage someone who is going through, whether it's personal, like I said, personal, like a, a loved one, or even if you're mourning the death of Kobe Bryant, I hope this really encourages, encourages you. This is not the end. You have so much, you have a life that needs to be lived to its fullest. I really hope this encouraged someone. Thank you for listening to me speak about this because this is something that is near and dear to my heart, like grief in, in, in general. I'm very familiar with it and I appreciate you guys listening to me speak on it. And yeah, so I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.